What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today I'm here with Sons of Anarchy, Season 4, Episode 1, Out. Is we out of prison? Is we just skipping the whole prison era? Uh, that would make sense. I mean, how much story can you really gain with the, the club in prison? So I'm guessing we're going to jump, based on the title, a year and two months. Um, assuming that they all got parole and nothing went wrong and everything was good. Uh, because Otto, he's been violent in prison but he's been getting attacked and stuff and i mean we did piss off the russians we did do that um but yeah mm. um so tara oh my gosh she, she would have the baby i don't know if it's a boy or a girl that kept saying son but abel's gonna be over a year old um and i don't know i mean we're gonna have new club members i'm assuming because some people had to take over the reins but yeah, we got to get back out there and get on our feet. Um, they, I, I'm assuming they're gonna have this deal with the IRA to look forward to. Uh, not that I want them running guns, but that's what Clay loves to do. He's just the president, and that was the deal they made. So I guess that's probably gonna be the next uh, season. That and dealing with the Russians. Um, but I'm just ready to see what's going on with the boys. Like we got all our enemies. I mean, Zobel's out there in the wind, but I mean, he lost everything. Um, daughter dead. I mean, all his crew's dead. His Nazi plan screwed over. Um, I mean, what do I got to be mad at? Stahl's ass is off the board. She got what she deserved. We love justice. Um, we also got Jimmy O. Justice. Because Jimmy O, he did everything he did for no reason. And his time was coming. He, he li They literally had no reason to take Abel. None of them could justify keeping that baby. None of it makes sense. I don't care about what the real army got going on or the IRA, none of that. Too many people died because all y'all had to do was give the kid back. But Jimmy O is greedy, wanted more money, wanted the, the deal in um, Charming to go away or whatever. But that is not how you do, you know, that's not how you do that. You could have found another way to end business with them. But to, to kidnap a child and use him for ransom to get what you want, it's crazy. Too many people were doing it. And I think we can say all those people are just about dead. So, more of the story is don't fuck with Jackson and his family because you will lose. Jackson's brilliant, um, as is the writers for the show. I'm going to continuously commend them because the show is amazing. Um, but yeah, let's get into the season four premiere, you guys. That's my prediction so far for everything and my recap. Full and early reactions are available on Patreon. If you guys want to get a full season ahead or more YouTube, please join Patreon. In come my head of the good Lord come. Oh, he did cut his hair. Okay. Cool. Wow. Oh, shit. Wait. Does he have those scars? No. Abel. Why do you know what happened? Uh-uh, boy, what you doing? What you doing, boy? No, what is that? Oh, my God, that might have been a horse. Kids used to be doing everything. That's why I can't do it. Come on. Oh, look at that. They ain't got the cheery banter going on just yet. Here you go, Queen Jada. Hello? Razor. Who do you need to cut up? Wait, how, do, how did the rest of them avoid prison? Oh, maybe Opie wasn't there that day? When they shot up to one place? So the club was in good hands. I guess Piney wasn't there either, huh? The first thing they did was put their cuts on. He did. He did sneak in the back though. Look, had the motorcycles waiting and everything. Too happy to be free. I'm surprised the ladies weren't there though. They'll probably be waiting in the garage. Did he do himself? Or is he just trying to lure him in? He probably just cut himself somewhere. I would have called it them. I ain't gonna open no door. Oh, he killed himself. Charming hype. Oh, man. 
Mayor Hale probably in charge, making it a uh, charming Disneyland. You know, let's find out all the things that have changed. It's gonna be difficult. Y'all couldn't get a win everywhere. We got the ones that matter. You're an artist, boy. I know him. That'll be an interesting addition to this house. I know him too. New faces. Roblox? We just got the time. We got some black officers running the tide now. I was kind of hoping for flowers. Maybe a bun cake. I'm sorry. They got the sheriff's in time. What the hell is this, man? Just a friendly heads up. Charming is now under the jurisdiction of the San Joaquin Sheriff's Department. I'm guessing that's you. Lieutenant Roosevelt. Charming Marauder substation is my command. Well, you got to show up on how big your stick is, Teddy. Can we go now? The conditions of your release state that no gang colors or identifying clothing may be worn in public. They cut. We're not a gang. We're a motorcycle club. Well, the federal government disagrees. So the next time I see any one of you who got out today wearing cuts, they'll belong to me. Oh, he, oh, he ain't playing. We clear? Welcome home, gentlemen. Oh, he, he letting them know. Yeah, he came out swinging his dick because that shit's crazy. Can't wear their cuts. That's their life. Oh, oh man. man. He's going to be a motherfucker. This season going to be a motherfucker. Hey. History's dead, sweetheart. It's got to stay that way. What's that mean? History's dead. You okay? <laughs> Anxious. <laughs> Proud of you. Ain't easy making things work when they're inside. I'm glad they got each other. Just me. Was the whole. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know they finna throw a huge party tonight. Okay, everything all good in the hood. I was a little worried. I'm like, what's going on? So they had a kid. How you doing? Right. Oh. oh, okay, I thought that was running. I, why did I think there was a child running the opiate? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Abel got so big. Who's Wayne? I don't know. It's any beer. Maybe you want to check up on him? Holy shit, Chucky, you got this. Oh, robot hands. You grow those? It's Jim. Yeah, bottom fingers. Oh, those shitty little nubs are freaking me out. Will you freaking me out? Will you freaking me out? I know he missed little Abel. Chapel, 10 minutes. Who is this guy? Yeah. Stick it around. I'm Lee Potter, assistant U.S. attorney. It's nice to meet you. Same here. Right. We're renting some space here up on the third floor. Yeah, I've seen you guys coming and going. So, what can I do for you? Well, uh... I was hoping maybe you could stop by later. Want to bounce a few things off of you? Okay. Officially? Yes. I talked to Sheriff Moore. You're clear to join us. Okay. Mayor Hale, Lincoln Potter, I've heard a lot of great things about you, sir. You're the AUSA. You That's right. You feel pop You had a good nap? She was taking a nap. Well, uh, Sheriff, I will see you later. It was so nice to meet you. Likewise. What's that about? Oh, probably just protocol. <clears throat> How'd it go this morning? Without incident, Clay and his boys got the message. I hope you don't think one roadblock's gonna get these scumbags in line. They've been quiet because most of them have been inside. I'm on top of it. Neutralizing their power is just not gonna happen in a day. Uh, of course not. You're gonna be on the ass. You and I both know there are a lot of important things to accomplish here in Charming. I'm just trying to keep everyone focused on those goals. I understand, I understand, and I appreciate that. I don't think um, either side is going to be too pleased. You're a combat pay, gentlemen. Maybe that two years of community college would pay off. You know the small percentage of new guns are pretty sweet. Small percentages are all about. Piney, oh, Chips, Kozik, did an outstanding job holding us together, making this snow business work. Leave that old hard work, brother. We just but today, the day to day, well, you got my deepest appreciation. Absolutely. This uh, 
Oswald Construction Bed. What is that? Is that some sort of consolation price, ma'am? When Hale pushed that 99 on ramp through the city council, all that timberland went down to domain, and Elliot, he lost millions. So Hale is letting him make it up with lumber and labor. Yeah, let's build it home from this town. No one in this town can afford it. Right. He pushed it all out. Anybody else see a problem with that? I mean, Jacob Hale's been laying this track for more than five years now. City councils, zoning committees, getting rid of charming PD. No. We're not going to let this happen. Oh, uh, but uh, what are we going to do about it? We literally just got out. The black and proud Sheriff Rosenbelt. Who the hell is he? We don't know much. He's so another guideline task force from Oakland. He's been working 10 months. So y'all need to he's get up with Leroy. He's here, but this is the first time he's whipped his dick out. Yeah, he's been pretty low-key. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, I guess today was about letting us know it ain't gonna be business as usual. You're not gonna get the sheriff on your payroll. This boy's a straight-up cop. All right, the meat I'm the we're gonna miss Hudson. The jelly bean lighting. <laughs> Was it with the Russians and strippers? I hate strippers. It's horse meat and a G string. I, I love the jelly bean. Of course you do. I love it too. And the freak circle is completely. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized he grew hair. He used to have a mohawk. I'm like, something's yeah. off about him. It's the hair. We all got on marching on this. Hey, it's a very big day. So let's get it done. All right. I'm interested to see what y'all come up with. It's been about a year. They can patch in. Two sheriffs watching us down. Whenever y'all feel they're ready. He wants to know. He's about to get a tail. If he does, he can't follow all of us. Uh, I want to what up? Jackson will be with me. Need the rest to help get us there. Squiggy. Yeah. I want you to drive the tow truck behind us. Hey, come on, man. I should be with you. I'll be all right. That's for most of us to stay detached. We get the fun stuff. Yeah, they're gonna learn y'all tactics. Peace of mind. No way you say anything about what you see. I strip your badge and throw you in jail. Oh, wow. I uh, have some trust issues. <laughs> okay. Got some pretty Please. secret, huh? Some of these faces may be familiar to you. Whoa. Jesus. In 1970, Dick Nixon signed into law the Organized Crime Control Act. We got a lot of Section that. 901 of that law. Racketeer, Influence, and Corrupt Organization Act. Rico. Welcome to the war room. And just Lane, Kessler, FBI, Vance Ice, Woodrow Grad, ATF. Have a seat, Chef, please. So you really think you're going to be able to use Rico against the Suns? MC's become a major distributor for a group of real IRA members, modestly self titled the Irish Kings. Struck a deal when they were in Belfast last year. Sons killed Jimmy O'Fallon. In return, the Irish opened up their arsenal. Gave Sam Crow access to a whole new caliber of weapons. So how do the Russians fit in? The Russians were providing a safe house for O'Fallon in exchange for guns. But they got a better offer from the Sons. Okay, you put a lot together. In, uh, Clay double cross poop low fight. From no Took a trailer and left the Russian ring. Like somebody slipping this And that's why Jax Teller got shipped in Stockton. Russians retaliation. I and to make see. peace, Clay made a distribution deal with Putlofa. They got the lion's share of the uh, guns and profits while the MC was inside. They tried to take him out. I mean, they went to the Sons are out. So all of that will be changing. 
you can't and as to uh, how we'll know soon enough you have someone on the inside and that's why I got all this agent Roman Worski. been undercover with the Russians for over a year now he's very close to becoming Putlova's number two huh. we've tracked distribution from Belfast and Dunlo over to Canada been down the west coast of Mendocino once our agent is inside the circle we'll be able to get tape on Putlova buying and selling illegal arms and in one broad stroke we will take down the ROC and by association, the real IRA and the Sons of Anarchy. I mean, it's, it's a great plan, but uh... And all of this is going down in San Juan. It's the only reason why you wouldn't want to bring me in. Yes, most likely it will happen in your backyard. But that is not the only reason we're talking. I checked your file, talked to your superiors. You have years of street time with the local gangs and players in Northern Cali. We don't. You're not here by default, sir. You're here because you can be trusted and because we need you. To let them do the dirty dealing so they can catch them. They need you to stop being so strict and harsh on them, I'm guessing. Count me in. The more pressure you put on them, the more careful they are. It's pretty interesting. So we got all the teams working together. Oh, the law enforcement. Yeah, we've upped the threat level for sure. I trust you are healing them. Fine. Thanks for asking. It's business, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm glad we could settle all that. Why you pick me to get shanked? <laughs> and, uh, you could have shanked too. Take 80% of the Irish stock for your customers up north. And 80% of the risk as well. We handled all the transport and storage. Well, now it's time for that uh, equal share scenario to kick in. You'll get 50% of the hardware. But if we continue to transport and house the guns, we need to be compensated. It's going to take us a little while to set up shop. We'll give you 5%. That's an awful lot of risk in manpower for just 5%. And the uh, FBI dude, he can testify against it because he's witnessing it. This is not good. Fair enough. 5% for the first month, 15 if you stay longer. Deal. Um, I'm going to want to see the new merch, get familiar with it. I wanted to bring it here. You got some local eyes on us. We're hoping we can see him tonight and check out your operation. But tonight was a celebration. Yeah, we thought it'd be a good cover to get away. Of course. They ain't wasting time. I'll make sure my men are there. So we'll see you at the party. I will have missed it for the whole. That's the right. Personal. We don't have to die before they can testify. Look at me talking about killing the FBI. This is crazy. Who all here? Who mama, grandpappy, uncle's son is this? Jesus Christ, oh, I heard you. You live out here? You're gonna take it off the goddamn hinges. So you as a sheriff, you ain't got nothing nice? Just about upped and died I'm sheriff, but I did whatever well, If I was. did, knocking louder ain't He was the damn help. chief. Well, I've been known to wake the dead. Jesus, Wayne. You told me you were gonna hire somebody to help you out. I don't need nobody nosing around my shit. Besides, if you'd have called, I might have had a chance to clean up a little bit. You were supposed to show up today. Your phone's been disconnected. Oh. Uh. Clay came home today. He was supposed to come by. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ. Was that today? You ain't in your right mind. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, uh... I kind of lost track of time. How are the new meds? I don't know. I quit taking them. I was going to say, something ain't right. I can't afford them. Coverage is shit. I mean, all, all they do is make chief you chicken sleep. Your pockets. Can y'all hook him up with something? What's going on with you? Just, uh, <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> As, uh, Clay, I know about uh, me and Della splitting up. I didn't even know yeah. that. I knew there was a separation, but... I don't think he's, uh... privy to your new rock star lifestyle, however. Right. Noticed your plans weren't doing so well out there. Yeah, but Everything is just... kind of uh, dying. Uh-oh. It's coming to break down. <laughs> oh, shit. I know, sweetheart. <laughs> we need to do something nice for him. I know. Mother General, what can we do here?
He's he's done a lot for us. Just getting anything for help. That's I I'm up to the thing. Thanks. How much you giving him? A lot more than you, you cheap ass bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Not cheap. Just mindful of excessive spending. Dude, you reuse condoms. Oh. How about you, Juicy? Giving them both ten sessions at clear passages? It's the herbal colonic and weed shop on Crestview. I own twenty percent. That is so disturbing. And you drive to take them out? I clipped one of them trying to stay with more. Were they driving the speed limit? Maybe at first, but then they took off. Must have been doing 110 on 18. It was crazy. No shit. These guys are smart. They'll claim that you tried to kill them, that they were fleeing out of fear. Then they'll try to sue us for assault. He going off. And the next time you try to play GTA on my watch, I'm about you back to park duty. Oh, he don't play. Yes, sir. I seen that man in some some production. Seems like a Tyler Perry one. Oh yeah, you can tell he got experience in the area not on that flash operation. Y'all ain't had a ton of time to talk. Boys are napping. Jax knew it was a boy. Jimmy too. Oh, they just put jackets over the cuts. Okay. That's to get around. Smart. Love me. Love me. Aww. Cheeks through the mirror. They tried to cover it up with a little picture, but I see the cheeks. That was fast. I'm dead. Yeah, that's because you're used to speed banging juice in dark hollows. <laughs> Don't turn what Juice and I had into something cheap and tawdry. <laughs> I'm sure it was sweet Puerto Rican magic. <sighs> no more time, baby. I don't think I can handle it. Yeah, I know. You're just lucky you didn't go. You're gonna be all right, darling. Jack's work, miracle. The Russians? Handled. For now, but their mold problem is an issue. There's no guns. Gonna be our goal to take it, Jim. Yeah, right back into the county. I find his feet many percentage. And then upstate. I should bank. Run seven figures before I'm done. We are gonna be okay. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna get to spend it, but. No one more killing ourselves. I promise. His arthritis. How bad are they? The meds they gave me inside didn't do very much. Well, we can get you on the good stuff. I mean, it's all right on a day like this when it's warm, but I don't know how many winters I got left. Ooh. One. Two at the most. There's plenty we can do. I had Tara looking into a good surgeon. No, I ain't letting nobody cut me over. I'd have to step down to recoup. It don't make any sense. Well, we'll just we'll get better meds. Keep doing the cortisone. You got plenty of time, baby. Yeah. Tim, if he want to retire, let that man retire. It really would be better for everybody if Jack is the president. I mean, we got to get there one day. I hope it ain't not the end. You want to see him, sir? We need to do something nice for him. You got to go out there, Clay. He needs you. He needs this club. He needs something. something what he did for us? Stall? He was a big yeah, part of that plan. I know. Also came through. Wait, I don't think, think I know their other son's name yet. Checks. Yeah, we should talk about all the chick shit you decked on my house. Man. I'm sorry, Maxim posters and Harley mirrors aren't really my style. I'm gonna talk about the boys' checks. About what we're gonna do. Um, can you be more specific? Oh, sounds like someone else wants a shot at those puppies. <laughs> You're supposed to be gone by now, but I'd like to see the bride. How's the wedding stuff today? Figured I'd wear my clean socks on the big day. Wow, I'm honored. You get married in the kind of do this? It's kind of late to back out now. What you been doing in the last Never 14 months? I'm not running. Like it or not, I'm part of this family. Okay. I like it. I like it too. I'm cool with it. I was hard I'm, on her. I'm so. happy. It's even nothing but great. What are we going to be adding to it? What 
what is he saying? Was he saying he wants to have a baby? She looked like she's like, I don't know, no more kids. What's his name? Look, I love just them being home, raising their family. Like, this is amazing. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Uh, so they're gonna get married too. Are you? Love that for them. Yeah. We should get married. Fuck it. Really? I mean, you want that? Why wouldn't he? He's always wanted that. I love you, Tara. That's obvious, yeah. I've loved you since I was 16. Stay Get married. Else would bail. Have one more child. You're my beautiful son. Take an A and blonde as your own. They still ain't said the new baby's name. I love you too. So much. And I, I want all of that. But? I know this is who you are, Jackson. I, I, I would never try to change that. The club, charming. I've learned so many things while you were away. So did I. And I look at Thomas and Abel, and I, Thomas. I think, how okay. does this work? How How do they grow up in this? Yes. I don't, and they're not going to. Good. What do you mean? Thank God. I realize you being with me is not some kind of accident. It sounds crazy, but I think you were put into my life to get me out, Tara, 15 years ago. And now, I'm done with Sam Crow. Really? We both know if I stay, I end up back in prison or dead. Yeah, because Clay's See, running it. You just cut out. Wild. We've been coming to this for a while. The bond that holds this club together isn't about love or brotherhood anymore. It's about guns. We lost that a long time ago. It's just fear and greed now. What your father said in his manuscript? Yeah. That's because you got an old head running it. We need Jacks to run, I've been saying. He this. wanted to get out. JT was a coward. He lost himself an Irish pussy and bailed on his family. Instead of writing about it, he should have done something. He should have taken me and Thomas and gone the hell out of Charming. Oh, well, he would have had to go through Gemma first. Then he should have run her ass over. <laughs> I'm not my father. Mm. I'm not weak. How do you get out? He's standing on business on this one. Clay and Gemma will never let you just leave. And why is that? He left before. You got a good thing going with the Irish now. It's smart, under the radar. We're making big money this year. I just gotta hang out for a while and earn. How long? More guns means more risk. And security's a little tight. I don't have any skills there. I'm an okay mechanic with a GED. The only thing I ever did well was outlaw. I just need to make some bank. Sell myself up with something. Jax, I can go anywhere. I make good money. <sighs> She's a doctor. She can carry y'all. I'm not gonna live off my wife. Right, but you can I learn. Can't. It's not too late to learn how to do things, Jax. <laughs> you can get some skills. I don't think she was saying Clay's sit hands back and let her make all the money. His days are numbered. When he steps down, he loses sway. That's when I get out. What? You're supposed to be taking over, though. That's what we needed. And Gemma, she's just an old lady. Oh, this scares me. I know, man. You gotta trust me. This is all I have been thinking about for the last 14 months. Yeah, but that was finish up with sound because you had time to catch up with yourself. Take our voice now here's the get hell out of here. Yeah. Start fresh. I like the plan, but it, I don't think it's gonna work. Be a real and I kind of want him to take over and change things, which is probably what it will eventually lead to. We got a couple more seasons of this show. I don't know how exactly how many there are. It's like seven or eight, but we got some time. We got some time. How are you doing here? I got a call. Jake Plantford wants his front yard back. <laughs> It's my new style. Retro redneck. <laughs> Good to see you. See you. I'm, um, I'm sorry I missed your uncle. Yeah, that's all right. I got some beer in the fridge. I'm good. Sorry you sold the business. Uh, controlling interest. Still get a check every month. Enough to keep me in the uh, lifestyle I'm accustomed to. I see that. Soon you're caught up on the growth and prosperity of our little burg. Saw it. Riding in. Also, met wild black Hickox. He uh, provided me with the interracial shadow. The town's upside down, Wayne. I know. 
I'm not sure which cancer is worse. The one in me, or the one in Charmy. Well, you running away out here ain't helping either one. It don't hurt as much, being unplugged. What well, are you gonna have to plug yourself back in, pal, because I need you. I do what? I ain't gonna let hell win. There ain't gonna be no charming heights. I ain't gonna stop it. Make nature take its course. I got no idea what the hell that means. Me either. Not that it involves a lot of shit. I'm a big fan. What do you need? You still got access to the realm trucks? Yeah. Might need one tonight. Like a uh, catering truck, something you might see around the wedding. What's it for? Wedding shit. Because there is going to be a wedding tonight. Oh, he didn't die. Now the wrists. A little sore. How are yours? Good. Jax is the best man. They all here? Yep. So who's who a bad guy? Niners, Lions. Russians. Love is in the air. Keep your eye on that party. Make sure it doesn't leave the reservation. Never been to a wedding in the woods. Brothers and sisters, we come together today under the all-seeing eye of nature to witness a blessed joining of Opie and Lila. Now you are two persons with only one life before you. May beauty and peace surround you both in your journey ahead and through all the years to come. With this ring, I vow my love I promise to always be a faithful and loving wife and old lady. With this ring, I vow my love and I promise always to cherish and protect you. What else? And treat you as good as my leather and ride you as much as my heart. <laughs> Best tradition. <laughs> the laws of the and the state of California, I pronounce you man and wife. Have at it. How about D? Love that for them. Get a hint of the tail. You were born. Yes, man. Drink heavily for us. Appreciate you giving Brown the nod inside. Kept us alive while we figured out our Russian problem. She's protecting my interests. Talk to our man, isn't he? Wants to know for a while. You should probably get there first. We got the local law keeping tabs. We should be safe once we're inside. A better room? They call it the cop killer. Uh, it comes from Kevlar and body armor, like the soft cheese. Mm, who'll be carrying what that? Was best wedding gift ever. Wait till you see Juice's gift. You're gonna want to use that on yourself. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna want to play with this. It's your party. Let's go check this shit out. Deep into the woods. They're helping him escape. Or is he killing somebody? This is for Jack Steller. Ah, he the one that shanked him. Oh. Right through the ear. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna shake Jackson get away with it. And that's the last thing he heard. Was that was for Jack Steller. Oh, we taking out the Russians. Oh, oh, we weren't making truce with them. They said, you don't stab up one of our own. 
We're gonna use your own weapons to do it too. For Jax. You don't just shank up our baby. Oh, they want war. Anarchy. Hey, time to put two in your chest. Fuck. Fuck. And Jackson. Coming for revenge. Right where you got him. Hmm. He remember it too. You know exactly how it feels. Three. Just like you got him. They said, don't you ever. They came back with vengeance. They some cold motherfuckers. God, they gave it to them. Now let's see blood. One thing about Jim is she always finding out. They came back to say we handle this business. <laughs> Just shank a man again, go dance with your wife. This is anarchy. Prison definitely ain't made to keep you safe. That's for sure. Right on the white picket fence of. Oh my God. Oh, they sending a message right in front of nice old charming heights. Okay. We're back. <laughs> We're home, hell. Oh my God. The level of petty that I did not prepare myself to be hit with. They're back. Oh, that was a good opening. We are a year and two months in. Jack's got a baby boy, Thomas. Um, Abel's getting a little bit older. Um, he wants to marry Tara. Opie finally did marry Lila. We got the new guns. We got revenge. And we just sent the message to hell. I mean, y'all didn't think y'all was just going to send them a message and they weren't going to send one back. Uh, like kind of how that works. But then we also got um, all the jurisdictions in town uh, trying to get a RICO on the Russians, the IRA, and the Suns. But we kind of just put a dent in that plan because we just took out the Russians. We're not making a deal with the Russians. But I do think this is going to spark a war with the Russians, as I predicted. Um, but they probably, I mean, I guess they are still going through with the deal with the IRA. So that still puts them, you know, on that radar. So they definitely are not out of the wind, but we'll cut out the Russian connection from the RICO. It's going to be interesting. The new uh, sheriffs in town, they're following them everywhere. I mean, we're still clearly able to elude things. But like I said, we're capable of learning just as they're capable of learning. They're going to learn y'all tactics and... I mean, it only takes one time for y'all to get caught. But Jack said he won out. He said, you know, this life is only going to get me back in prison or dead. He's like, I had a lot of time to think, you know, feel the weight of everything we've went through. You know what I mean? And he nearly had a nearly uh, a near death experience in prison. He got shanked up. So in the heart area, like they tried to take him out. Like, he would have never even gotten to bond with his sons or nothing. He wouldn't have got to raise his kids. Like, the, the, yeah, that life. Mm -mm. Look at everything that happened with Tara last season. Like, she could have lost her life at several different points. Same with Gemma. Like, everybody's life was on the line last season. It ain't worth it. But Clay doesn't learn. He's stuck in his ways. Um, and I'm not with it. I've never supported Clay. Not my favorite character. Don't really like the guy. Don't really like him or Tig. Um... Uh, it just is what it is, but they, their way of doing things, you know what I mean? It's not going to work. Like, prison, as you can see, has two types of effect, at least, at least two. Um, the Jax version, where he sits and thinks about everything that's happened, and he says that this is not what I want for myself. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to do better. Try to make a plan for myself. It might not be immediately, but it's a long-term plan, right? You can't do that short term. Um, and then there's Clay, who gets out, hasn't learned a thing, said, I'm going back to business as usual. And we, we're about to get this shit rolling on day one. He didn't learn. Prison didn't work on him. Um, so it, 
the problem to me is Clay. He just got to go. But Jax now is in a different position than he was, a, you know, a season or two ago. He has a different outlook on life with everything that's happened to him. So he doesn't want to be president anymore. He doesn't want to take uh, over. He wants out when the time comes, which I personally think that's going to change. Um, but I don't know what's going to change that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. But this was definitely a good season opener and definitely set the, the tone for the season and the pace. I'm definitely interested. The drama is going to be there. I hope Usher can get it together. I hate to see him down like this. Um, living in a trailer. I mean, not enjoying his last set of years. He left, you know, his, him and his wife split up. And he ain't got nothing. No career. No family. I need my damn house. Like, he ain't got nothing. And he got cancer. That's all he got is cancer. He's dying. And he has to die alone in the woods. That ain't no way to go out. And so, yeah, I mean, you supported the criminal element for a very long time. But, I mean, they at least need to cater to you because they wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. Um, and I'm sure they didn't give you a choice, you know, along the way. But... I mean, shoot, embrace it now. You're at the end of your life. So definitely interested to see where this season goes, you guys. A great season of as I said. Thank you guys for watching. And, of course, I want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for more Sons of Anarchy.